I want to open this first topic by reading from the introduction of your text on building citizen involvement. I just want to read the first paragraph. Today, many Americans feel angry toward their government institutions and alienated from governance and policymaking. The signs of this major lack of connection between citizens and their government are clear. Fewer citizens are voting in elections at all levels of government. Public debate is often uncivil, derogatory, and confrontational as a we-they mentality sets the tone for city council meetings, public hearings, and other open forums. And public opinion polls indicate that more than 75% of Americans have little or no confidence in their local government to resolve problems, with even larger percentages having no confidence in their state or the federal government to resolve those issues that affect their lives. The readings in this first section will be a bit more theoretical than the rest of the course, which will be very practical. But I think we need to start by building this theoretical underpinning. The first chapter in your text is called Democracy, Community, and Citizen Participation. This is going to lay the foundation that will help us understand what we're going to be talking about and why we're going to be talking about issues throughout this course. As you can see, we're going to cover such things as the conditions for an effective democracy. There are things that need to be in place. We're going to discuss the importance of citizen participation. We're going to discuss the idea of a sense of community and how we as leaders help build that. Any of us that have been in this business for more than five years know that our roles are beginning to change and people are looking at us differently and looking at local government differently than they did even five to ten years ago. And then we're going to look at the communitarian platform. Actually, your text mentions communitarianism, but I thought it'd be interesting to look at a little more detail because communitarianism talks about morality in the community, the fact that there are some things that are just right and some things that are just wrong. In the past, I think maybe we presume families in schools were going to teach principles that related to civic involvement and civic education in a way that maybe they don't do anymore. And communitarianism talks about rights and responsibilities. Of course, within our civic environment, each of us has specific rights. But we also have specific responsibilities that come with those rights. And communitarian discusses those things. So I think these readings will give you a good theoretical foundation for the practical tools that we'll be looking at through the rest of this course.